Welcome to another beginner's tutorial for Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. In this episode, I'll be covering Yosuke Hanamura with the help of my good friend Spoiled Rat89123, a very good Yosuke player. Brosuke is a top tier character in Persona 4 Arena for many reasons. Yosuke's speed is absolutely unmatched in this game, which allows him to lock the opponent down in this crazy vortex of 50 50 high low front back mix ups. His gliding mix ups can open up even the best defenders. His furious action is a counter move that can halt all the momentum from the opponent's offense. And on top of all this, he can inflict poison and confusion status ailments. On the flip side, he has relatively low HP compared to the rest of the cast, so you're going to want to try to not get hit with those 50% combos from characters like Minizuki. And finally, Yosuke is a character that needs to be in 100% of the time, so he's borderline terrible at range. But that's just the trade-off that you get if you get such a powerful offensive character. Now I'm going to list the best moves that Yosuke has in his arsenal. 5A is quick, safe, and it's the move that you'll be using to start a lot of your combos with. 5B is great for pressuring the opponent and it's dash cancelable on block, allowing you to lead into some very tricky setups. 2B is very similar except it serves as a better anti-air and the hitbox extends behind Yosuke's back. All of Yosuke's jumping attacks are pretty good for pressuring the opponent and can also lead into some very good damage combos. But please never whiff on jumping AB because you're just gonna get punished. Yosuke's all out attack is pretty good and can lead into some very good damage on hit but like most all out attacks in the game, you're gonna get punished if they block. Like I mentioned earlier, Yosuke's furious action is incredible. It deflects everything from overheads to low attacks to unblockables to command grabs. And it's so good because you take away all of the opponent's momentum and now you're in a position where you can set up your frame traps and your mix ups. Yosuke dash spring is mainly for comboing, but it's also good too to keep the pressure on even at mid range. The flying kunai is a decent attack that can be thrown at two distinct angles, but smart players know how to blow it up. The moonsault is a quick flip that can be followed up with B for a slashing attack. You can combo a few of these in the air at a time, but just remember that after the first one you don't have to keep inputting the quarter circle forward or back. You can either hold forward or back and press A or B over and over again to get the subsequent hits. And alternatively you can combo into the flying flash cut by pressing forward or back in C or D. You can also tiger knee this attack to use it closer to the ground which will greatly help your mix up game. You can tiger knee the flips to make them a bit more unpredictable and faster. For those that don't know what a tiger knee is, basically all you do is end the quarter circle forward motion or quarter circle back motion with a jump. But you don't want to hold up, what you want to do is hold diagonal forward or diagonal back and up. And you end it with the attack button right after you finish the input so the character activates their air attack as soon as they leave the ground. Mirage Slash is Yosuke's teleport move and is really good at catching the opponent off guard. You can really keep the opponent on their toes by alternating between the C and D version of this move because the D version is a bit more delayed. Yosuke's Garudan Super is really fast and really good at punishing opponents. It can be kind of hard to control though, especially the SB version, so you want to practice that a bit so that opponents don't fall out in the middle of the super. Yosuke Tsukukaja Super affords him quite a few benefits. He gains a new 5A and auto combo that travel extremely fast and can cross the opponent up. He becomes even faster than he was before and he was already the fastest character in the game. He can perform an additional air action now. And finally he gains a new super that you can end combos with. Yosuke has a lot of intricate combos, but they all really stem from these few basic ones. Master these and you can do pretty much any Yosuke combo that you find online. This is your basic no meter combo. Any combo starter that you want to open the opponent up with into dash spring, into flying flash cut, into barrage slash, and then you have an opponent in a position with a hard knockdown and you can continue your mix up and pressure game. This is a simple extension of the no meter combo showing that you can use Tsukukasha super to extend it. You can extend it even beyond this but just practice the timing for this before you move on to more advanced combos. For this combo, you want to catch the opponent with any move to open their defense and then immediately cancel into the Sukukaja super, use the auto combo, but then interrupt the auto combo with a mirage slash, and right from that point, combo immediately into the Sukukaja super again to end the combo. Using any starter that you want, transition into the dash spring, into flying flash cut, and then into mirage slash. From this point, you activate Tsukukaja and then it's just a matter of using the auto combo. 
if this combo had a hard part, it would be the part with the Mirage Slash, but once you get the timing down, you should complete the combo every time. Once again, what you want to do here is get a confirm lead into the dash spring, use an SB version of the kunai flip into another kunai flip, followed by the flying flash cut into the final kunai flip, and if you have the leftover meter after you already spent the 25 for the SB slash, you can use a super. If your opponent is low on health, you can burst chain these two supers for a guaranteed kill. It's very unlikely that you drop this combo, you really don't even need to practice it that much, just to make sure that you get the time. This final combo takes a lot of meter but does pretty good damage. For this one you want to SB dash spring into flying flash cut into three kunai flips and then use the SB version of the super. The good thing about Yosuke is that his combos aren't too reliant on timing, rather it's much more about precision. You have to make sure that you input the correct aerial action otherwise you get one that you didn't intend. But once you get that down his combos are a breeze. The last thing I want to talk about with Yosuke is something that's going to be changed soon in the 2.0 update for Persona 4 and Ultimax, but it's still very useful now is his glide. Yosuke's glide cancel basically turns his air dash into a pseudo teleport. He moves way too fast for the average human mind to react to. In order to glide with Yosuke, what you want to do is use his jumping AB move in the middle of a dash, but immediately cancel it into a back turn. What happens is that the game registers the forward movement uh, at the beginning of the AB attack, but it cancels the attack into the back turn, so what you end up with is a dash that's exceedingly fast. With this, your mix-up game is going to become stronger than ever and you can hit the opponent with crazy overheads or just go straight into a low, or you can even use the dash to get behind them quicker than they can react to it and hit them with a cross-up. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to Yosuke. He's a speed demon. He can get the opponent with killer cross-ups. You can open up pretty much anybody. Final tips are just make sure that you keep the pressure on. Don't become too predictable. You want to switch up your attacks constantly. If you have one go-to mix-up, that's fine. But just make sure that you throw in a couple different high lows in there. And lastly, make sure that you don't get carried away with Yosuke's crazy offensive game. You have to block too. You can't just attack, attack, attack. Because the opponent is going to count you and kill you. You still have to be patient and pick your spots, just a little bit less so than a lot of the other characters in the cast. Once again, major shoutouts to Spoiled Brat because this tutorial wouldn't be possible without him. Hit him up for some matches in Persona 4 Arena if you want to go against a really good Yosuke player. And look out for a few more tutorials in the future. See you guys next time.